that the batting practice, you know, guys have just got complacent out there on the field now. It's just, uh, it's like we're we're going to be in the championship series, but you got to understand that when you're playing against the team that you know that you're probably going to have to play, you got to nut up a little bit. You got to play the game right. I mean, they're playing the game right. We're not. You know, we're beating ourselves. We beat ourselves tonight. We three run inning, let in three runs again tonight on there. So, you know, you just can't do that when you're fundamentally sound like we've been all year. We've led the league in fielding all year long until we play these guys. You know, so it's it's. You can you find out in the end in this game when you get into the playoffs and as many times as I've been in the playoffs, you find out who can nut up is basically the way it is. And so I know a couple of guys out there that will, but it's going to take more than two guys. It's going to take a whole team effort, you know, because that's the only team that's beat us all year long. Who will? <coughs> who will nut up? Well, the veteran guys will nut up. You know, Doc, Mike should. Uh, I bet Desi does. Good one should. You know, uh, I even think guys like Hoof's gonna gonna play well, but you just never know. You know, hopefully Jason does. You know, guys that have been here all year long, Johnny. You know, you just don't know what. I've never seen their reactions in postseason, so you know they have to not only prove to me but prove to themselves, because there's always something that happens. You know, it's either you really nut up and you go out and kick ass, or you fall on your face. You know, I mean, we've done our job as coaches and manager. We've done our job. We've tried to get these guys ready. We've put them in, up in a position where they, they can win. It's not up to us anymore. It's up to them. You know, they've got to go out there and, and take it, you know, one pitch at a time, however you want to look at it, or one inning at a time, and go out and do the little things, do the, be fundamentally sound. But what bothers me more than anything is the preparation. Anybody that prepared themselves the way that I've seen these guys prepare themselves the last few days, there's not one guy out there that I would send back to an organization. Well, there might be a couple if the opportunity was there. But there is no way I'd put my label on a players that don't go out and work. If, if they go out there and do the job that they're supposed to do, <coughs> not so much during the game, but get themselves properly prepared where they're doing their work, taking their ground balls, you know, taking their fly balls, taking their batting practice, but they're just starting to neglect it. And I'm not going to babysit anybody. Uh, and they know, especially the players that have played in an organization, you cannot get away with that shit. If you try to do some of the shit that they're trying to pull right now, they'd be gone. If it was halfway through the season right now, I'd release five guys out there. That's how pissed off they've got me right now. And, and it's, it has nothing to do with their performance. It has to do with their work ethics. And to me, if you can't go out there, it, baseball is still a job. You know, when you're on the field, it's a great job because you only got to play hard for three hours a day. You know, but that hour of preparation before a game is is some of the most valuable time that you have to where you go out there and get your work done. So you are properly prepared for the game, and they're not prepared.